What spicy deck do we have today? We're not playing today. We're just we're just gonna be checking out the new cards really quick since there's new cards to look at and the format right now is really disgusting with all this stun going around. I figured maybe you guys would like to chat at the same time as we're looking at the new cards because I mean I'm not familiar with all of the new cards. Obviously, like as a lot of people know, I don't play TCG, I only play Master Duel. So a lot of these new cards in Master Duel are new to me. Um, even though I've, like, I've heard of them and stuff like that, I don't actually know how they play exactly. Uh, so yeah, do, do you guys want to check out the cards first? I mean, I guess we can. That's what people are here for, right? Okay, so basically we had a nice little update in Master Duel. And I suppose with that update came the ability to data mine a lot of new stuff. People were able to data mine a bunch of new animations, including one for Ignister, which is weird. I thought Ignister already had an animation. That's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, this is not like their typical like leaks where they're like, oh, we're kind of guessing. I think this is just straight up data mined the whole pack out of the thing. So yeah, DK is on vacation, so he won't leak today. No shot, bro. Oh, we got to jump in then. <laughs> We got, mmm, it's all mine. Yummy. <laughs> uh, yeah, but for real though, I'm, I'm actually really excited for a lot of these cards. Especially, like, obviously it's probably going to be the worst one out of all of these. But I'm super, super, super excited for uh, the Nouvelle cards. Uh, I just can't wait to, like, French jump scare people with this deck. And I'm definitely going to be playing this. I think we also have a ritual event confirmed for the next event. So definitely going to be a good opportunity to play some Hungry Burger Control, you know? Gems depleted for real. Yo, I am low on gems. I'm going to be wasting some money on gems for this pack, bro. I can already feel it. I can smell it, bro. After the Duelist Cup and some stun decks made it really high in Duelist Cup, a lot of people started spinning into stun decks and started playing stun a lot. Yeah, runic stun, like you said, is everywhere, Determined Lemon. And because of that, I've been kind of hating the game in the last couple of days. Honestly, it's been kind of disgusting, like no fun in ladder. So I really want a nice switch up. I really want something new to experience in the game. And uh, obviously, I don't think Nouvelle is going to be like this insanely meta shifting deck or anything. But Vanquish Soul is a real ass threat. It's a really good deck. Like I heard it's a really difficult deck to play because you have to pay attention a lot to your attributes and stuff like that. So I'll definitely have to like check out how difficult it gets. But uh, I know there's also like the Firewall Defensor and uh, Firewall Phantom, which are basically like uh, math mech support. So we're going to get some cyber support in here. Phantom sucks. You play the Defensor at three and the level four Firewall that summons itself from Grave makes terahertz for free. I see. So you don't actually play Phantom. Oh, wait, I just realized Phantom's a level five. I thought this card was level four. Uh, yeah, okay, I see now. I see now. TCG and OCG played the played it when Circular was at three. Oh, yeah, so Defensor was played with Circular at three. Okay, okay. That's good to know. So I suppose it will see play in that case. I mean, it's still like a free summon from deck. So it definitely seems really, really solid. So uh, that doesn't surprise me at all. But I wasn't completely sure because uh, I wasn't sure like the timeline of when this released. Do we know when these drop? Yeah, uh, uh, probably in the, the next couple of days. The next the last main pack ends in like three or four days or something like that. So uh, yeah, probably something like that three defensor two diameter as normal and then 50 ways to circular oh uh, well usually i'm playing three diameter personally oh this one you can send with terahertz okay yeah i gotta read this one because i know a lot of people are playing terahertz right now i gotta read this one uh during your main phase you can special summon one cybers monster from your hand then you can make this card's level become the same as that monster okay when your opponent activates a spell slash trap or effect while you control a link for or higher cybers monster quick effect banish this card from your field or grave negate that whoa wait that's crazy that means that terahertz becomes a spell and trap negate that's actually wild terahertz becoming a spell and trap negate makes it crazy this pack looks mid too uh, i don't know man the cyber support seems really solid and vanquish vanquish soul seems like a good archetype from what people are telling me speaking of which let's not meander too much let's get into reading some of these vanquish soul cards you can guide me yeah yeah lpr i just want to know what cards to look at first to like start getting an idea of how the deck works. Uh, Razen is a starter. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one non-warrior Vanquish Soul from your deck to your hand. Quick effect, you can activate one of these effects by revealing monsters in your hand with the listed attributes. Fire, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects this turn. Fire and dark, destroy all other monsters in this card's column. Okay, that's kind of cute. So you can use it to out cards as a quick effect and also you can use it to like protect it if you have fire in your hand that's kind of nice and uh, let's see what would you normally search with rosin rosin is basically circular uh, do they all oh, okay so this one searches a spell or trap and uh, let's see how many darks do we have in this deck we have heavy borgor 
This one should be in the Hungry Burger archetype, let's be real. And we have Mad Love. Those are the dark monsters in the archetype. They all have effects based on what you reveal in hand, like fighting game assists. Oh, so it's supposed to be like a Marvel versus Capcom archetype. It'll be tier 1.5 at best. That's more than enough, though. It doesn't need to be more than that. All right, let's see. And what does uh, Pantera do? If you control no monsters in your main monster zone, you can special summon this card from your hand. Oh, okay. So that's why this one's popular, because it, it gives you an extra body on the field. It's kind of like an extender type card. Except you have to control no monsters in the main monster zones. Actually, I'm, it's cool that it says in main monster zones because I do believe the link monster is a link one. So you can make a link one and then special out the Pantera. Let's read the link one. Cannot be used as link material while you control a vanquished soul monster. Your opponent's monsters can only target monsters you control with the highest attack for attacks. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. During the main phase, quick effect. You can activate one of these effects. Special summon one vanquished soul from your hand. Add one Vanquish Soul Monster from Grave to Hand. This seems like a crazy Link one. Chad move, Panthera effect reveal Maxi and Ash. Wait, okay, let me check the Panthera quick effect. Actually, I didn't even check. Uh, the quick effect is Earth. This card cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. Earth and Fire. This are all spells and traps in this card's column. Okay, so you can go Pantera quick effect, reveal Ash and Maxi, pop a back row. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, let's check out some more stuff. Okay, so I'm liking this right now. This is your Monster Searcher. This is your Spell Searcher. You have a link one and then technically like you could search pantera with razen and then you make a link one special pantera use uh the rock effect and you could bring back razen or you can special something from your hand i suppose peep jowlong okay that's this one yeah if you reveal a card in your hand to activate a vanquish soul card or effect you can special summon this card from your hand quick effect you can activate one of these effects by revealing monsters in your hand with the listed attributes so fire change the battle position of one monster on the field fire and fire so two fire monsters add one vanquish soul card from your deck to your hand except okay so this will search any vanquish soul if you have two fires in hand yeah i can already see how like high the skill uh the skill ceiling for this deck can be but yeah i like i like the special summon condition of revealing a card in your hand it feels like you'll probably be able to get that pretty often to get this guy on the field 2400 attack a uh, pretty good effect for the search, but I'm not sure like how easy it is to get multiple fires. Although it does seem like we have a lot of fires. We have three fires in the deck, so should be pretty doable. Jalong most of the time adds the trap. Uh, reveal up to one of dark earth and fire monsters in your hand. Apply the following effects in sequence based on the number revealed. One, inflict 400 damage to your opponent. Then you can special summon Vanquish Soul from your hand. Inflicts, uh, two, inflict 600 damage to your opponent. Also, this turn, Vanquish Soul monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. 3. Inflict 800 damage to your opponent, then you can destroy all monsters on the field. Vanquish Soul monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. So when the third effect applies, uh, all your opponent's monsters basically would get destroyed. That's pretty good. I like that's That's really good, actually. Uh, 1800 burn plus destroy everything your opponent controls. And you get to special summon a Vanquish from your hand and protect them for the rest of the turn. Like, that's solid as hell. Next up, we have Heavy Borgor. This one makes me think of Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, you, I forget the name of that guy, but the, the big one. During the main phase, quick effect, you can target one non-machine Vanquish Soul monster you control, return it to the hand. And if you do, special summon this card from your hand. Quick effect, you can activate one of these effects by revealing monsters in your hand with the listed attributes. Dark, draw one card. Earth and Fire, inflict 1500 damage to your opponent. This one seems kind of goofy. Yeah, true. You can special summon on your opponent's turn, and then you can use the rock effect to summon a Razen, and then you can use the Razen effect to pop a monster, potentially, depending on what you have. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I can see. I forgot. Like, if it's a quick effect, especially with the fact that this Link special summon effect is a quick effect, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, that kind of that kind of makes sense to me. It's a Heat Soul, and yeah, and you get a draw from it, which is pretty crazy as well. Uh, let's see Caesar Valius. This is the one that's getting an animation. This card looks sick as hell. Like, really badass looking. Hit the opponent with the Potemkin Buster on their turn. Yeah, yeah, the, the it could be a Potemkin reference too. Uh, during the main phase, quick effect, you can target one non-dragon Vanquish Soul Monster Control, return it to the hand, and if you do, special summon this card from your hand. Quick effect, you can activate one of these effects by revealing monsters in your hand with the illicit attributes. Okay, so targeting one, so it has the same special summon requirement basically as this one. Earth, this face of card is unaffected by your opponent's activated effects this turn. Earth, Fire, and Dark destroy one card on the field as a quick effect. Okay. Okay. So, like, that's obviously good, but that's a lot of uh, requirements. I'm guessing this is, like, a one to two of, right? Yeah, that I just read in the in the chat, uh, one to two of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, this card looks really cool, though. Uh, I really like the artwork on all of these cards, actually. I think Mad Love is my favorite artwork out of all these. This one reminds me of a character from Skullgirls, the one with the, like, uh, top hat. And uh, Rosin is a three of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rosin is obviously a three of. I feel like Rosin probably a three of. This one, two to three. This one, two to three. Uh, this one, two to three. This one, two. This one, zero. This one, one to two. Stake your soul. It's not a Vanquish card, right? So you can't search it with this card. This, uh, this search is a Vanquish soul spell slash trap. So you can't search Stake Your Soul. Reveal one monster in your hand. Special summon one Vanquish soul monster with the same attribute but a different name from your deck. All right. But you, I guess you play three. But it's basically like a better small world for your deck, right? Would be a little busted if it was searchable. Yeah, it makes sense. It does like straight up summon from deck, right? Uh, and also it doesn't... Sh wait it doesn't even shuffle the monster you reveal i thought like okay you reveal the monster but you can still use the monster you revealed after complicated as hell though yeah this deck looks really difficult i won't lie but man i'm, I'm really excited for it it looks really really cool like i can't wait to learn this one I'm gonna be wasting a lot of gems on this one i can already tell all right so usually with mad love you would search versus continue oh i love this one continue Pay 500 life points and target one Vanquish Soul monster in your grave. Either add it to your hand or special summon it in defense position. Okay. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty good. There's no better spell to search with Mad Love. That doesn't seem that crazy to me. Uh, but, I mean, I guess I guess the deck does have a lot of really good tools already. Target one Vanquish Soul monster in control changes battle position. Then you can change face up monsters your opponent controls to face down defense position. Up to the number of Vanquish Soul monsters you control with different names. Why isn't this good? This seems really good to me. Yeah, special summoning from Grave as a quick... I didn't realize it was a flash spell. That makes it a lot better too. Both of these are really good actually. All right. Loving Vanquish Soul. They look awesome. Next up, let's just talk quickly about probably the worst one out of this. And just the deck that I am just can't wait to like French jump scare people on. So we have a Poissonniere de Nouvelle. I don't even know how they want you to pronounce this. If we went for French, it'd, it'd be... There's like no good way to say this. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This is just a terrible name. And uh, yeah, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to do all the French jump scares. I don't know. I don't really want to go through every single one of these cards. You can ritual summon this card with a recipe card. If this card is special summon, you can negate the effects of all face of cards your opponent currently controls. All right, tier one, tier zero, confirmed. That's all you needed. That's all you needed. Then if this card was special summoned by the effect of a Nouvelle monster, you can tribute as many monsters your opponent controls as possible. Whew, okay. Quick effect, you can target one attack position monster your opponent controls, tribute it, and if you do, special one Hungry Burger from your hand or deck. Wait, with, like ignoring the summoning conditions of the Hungry Borgor? Uh, so that seems crazy. That effect actually looks really good. I'm kind of confused about the summon. Like, I can't believe you can just ignore the ritual summoning for the burger and just summon it from deck. That's really cool. Read the counter trap. It's hilarious. All right. Chef's special <laughs> recipe. When a spell slash trap or monster effect is activated while you control a Nouvelle ritual monster, negate the activation, then you can destroy that card if you control a monster that was special summoned by the effect of a Nouvelle monster. If you special summon Hungry Burger, you can banish this card from your graveyard, tribute as many monsters your opponent controls as possible. Huh? <laughs> if you summon a Hungry Burger, just tribute all your opponent's monsters. That's crazy. This deck is going to be so awesome. Yo, yo, like, <laughs> you guys think I could maybe take this deck to, like, Master 1? You have to, it's French and a meme. I have to, right? I have to give, like, a full, like, we have to do, like, a full, like, five-hour stream of me just playing Master Rank with this deck, trying to climb up with it. Voici la carte, today's menu. Reveal two Nouvelle monsters with different names from your deck. Your opponent chooses one for you to add to your hand, and you shuffle the other into the deck. Then you can add one of these cards from your deck or graveyard to your hand, Based on the monster type added to your hand by this effect. Beast Warrior, Recette de Poisson. Warrior, Recette de Viande. Oh my god. This deck is so based. You have a chef hat. It would be super funny if you wore one during Hungry Burger stream. You know what? For like the two, three dollars it'll cost me on Amazon, bro. I'll order one. I gotta order that and I gotta order a propeller hat. Uh, those are like th those are like must-haves for me, it seems. Read the quick play nouvelle -esque card. All right. Concours de cuisine. Choose one nouvelle pendulum monster and one patissiel pendulum monster from your hand deck and or extra deck and special summon both monsters, one to each field. Also, this turn, you cannot use monsters material for a fusion, synchro, exes, or link summon except nouvelle and patissiel monsters. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your grave, then target one face-up monster on the field 
it gains 200 attack for each recipe card in the graveyards. Uh, wait, so this is literally like a cookout? <laughs> it's literally a cookout? That's kind of fire, dude. That's kind of fire. Oh, man. Do they actually run this? Literally Food Wars. Yeah, dude, it, dude, it is literally Food Wars. It's a cookout, bro. They wrote it at table, which is really awful. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, it's a table. At, not at table. Anyway, whatever. Uh, when this when this card is activated, add one recipe card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Once per turn, you can place one ritual monster from your hand on the bottom of the deck. Draw one card. Ooh. Once per turn during your end phase, you can target two cards in your grave, including a recipe card. Place them on the bottom of your deck in any order, then draw one. This seems like a, just a really solid field spell like they just like to do these days. A really good one, though, I'll be fair. Like, uh, anytime you have a searcher on your activation of a field spell, that's always a good sign. Uh, you know, that means that this deck might actually be almost as good as appliancers you know uh yeah this pack is fire dude i'm really looking forward to this pack it looks so fun last thing i want to check out just before we end this short stream here uh, we had a little update in master duel with some new stuff that i'm kind of curious about um some new features and shit yeah we'll check just the version update there's some interesting things in here we're not again not going to read everything uh but yeah they added a proficiency test which is pretty cute i guess uh, the new mode has two parts, a knowledge-based quiz-style section and a practical section that will test your actual dueling skills. When you clear both, you will pass the test and your grade will increase. Aim to reach the higher grade to earn the completion rewards. So I just want to know, do they give gems for this thing? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, so it's here now. The MDC proficiency test. And the, re the rewards are... <laughs> legacy packs and you won't know the rewards for later until you get there so i mean i'm not gonna start doing these for just legacy packs i'll wait until someone confirms to me if there's actually gems to be won in that but if it's just for legacy packs we ain't doing that we are not doing that but yeah there was some other interesting stuff here so vertical scrolling during duels is a pretty big deal in my opinion uh it's basically like they're saying here uh, now we can see more cards at a time instead of having to slide through cards sideways, which is super freaking annoying. And uh, we might have one duel just to check that out because I really like that. Uh, so uh, let's see. Display dialogue. Yes, yeah, so let's put vertical scrolling. Okay, so here, let's see. Let's see the ver Oh my god. <laughs> first time. First time in Master Duel. Let's see the vertical deck, bro. Wait, they're already. The cards are smaller. Less. Less. Screen real estate that you have to slide your mouse over means multiple seconds saved every turn. Every little mouse movement counts when it comes to not timing yourself out. I like this. All right. Oh, dude. That is so much better, dude. And what's this? Oh, and that'll put it back like this. Just if you feel like looking at it this way. But this is so much better, dude. Oh my god, man. Okay. Yeah, that's a great change, man. GG Master Duel. Huge change right there. Oh man, activating circular. Oh, activating circular has never felt so good. Oh man, this is so much better than scrolling through a million cards, dude. I love that change. It, oh, man seems like a no-brainer but it's so good dude it's so good i love it i love it i love it i love it this is awesome that's just this is just great that's that's such a that's such an amazing update honestly it's it's a little thing sometimes you know hopefully the new cards are gonna help shift the meta a bit and we won't be stuck in this stun hell forever uh because it's it's been pretty gross with the stun decks